Welcome. <laughs> Jennifer's Body was released in 2009 and was directed by Karen Kusana. It stars Megan Fox and Amanda Seyfried. It is about Jennifer, who gets possessed by a demon and gets a thirst for blood. I feel like Jennifer's Body is one of those movies that everyone knows parts of it, but doesn't know what it's called or if it's supposed to be taken seriously, if it's good, because it's always in like the Walmart $5 bin and, you know, is it good? Is it bad? Well, the answer is it's very bad, but it is also very funny. It treads a line between trying to be a horror comedy while having sequences of trying to be scary, which we'll discuss how that actually ended up turning out. So in terms of positives with this movie, it is very funny. There's a lot of great comedy written, uh, some intentional, some not always intentional. I mean, we have Patrick Starr as a voice in this movie. And he has one of the funniest lines that unfortunately is only in the extended version or in deleted scenes. But I highly, highly recommend you listen to his scene because it is very funny. But there are also many other people who are in this movie that are so surprising and give really funny performances. I mean, J.K. Simmons, he's really funny as one of the teachers in this movie. Chris Pratt is in it and he has a few funny lines before stuff happens and plot is set up within this movie. I mean, there are a lot of funny lines that are so enjoyable. It's just bogged down by really, really bad moments. And what I mean by that is more so poorly written, not in the funny way, but just kind of cringe uh, and not the enjoyable kind sometimes. A lot of it is very enjoyable and I think it's a very enjoyable watch. But there's just so many scenes within this movie that's like, ooh, that I did not like that. <laughs> and I would go into more detail, but I don't want to spoil anything because there are many, many great moments within this movie. I mean, like I said, the voice of Patrick Starr, his moment to shine is so funny. Megan Fox is great as Jennifer. She does a great job portraying her. Now, it does look like a... 30 year old is trying to portray a student in high school but we can look past that in this movie since it's pointing a lot of fun and it would be very uncomfortable in a lot of different sequences if it was played by someone who's actually in high school. In terms of cons like I said some of it is really cringe not very enjoyable uh, and in terms of an actual movie cons it's not a good movie at all it's not scary it's not written very well basically <laughs> what makes a really bad movie but I think it really treads the line between horror comedy and just a very funny bad movie that's enjoyable for almost everyone although I don't really recommend watching it with your parents <laughs> so overall I'd give Jennifer's Body a 3 out of 10 but in terms of a funny bad scale I would give it a 7.5 so thank you everyone for watching this review and be on the lookout for more reviews in the future. I do want to say before I end this, uh, thank you to everyone who supported the Haunted House video. And if you haven't seen it, check it out. It was a lot of fun. There was a lot of creativity and funny moments that happened within it that I just don't want to see it kind of pushed to the side. I want people to enjoy it. So please watch it, support it in any way that you can. And I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed this review and reviews in the future. The next one is going to be Saw 6, so be on the lookout for that. But let's flash forward to the next review.